channel it's Ashley here and if you are new hey girl hey so today I am going to be sharing with you how to transform your drawer size I do have Ryder with me this is the only thing that keeps her from crying and she can literally be in this thing for hours but it hurts my back so yeah but anyways she loves the boba but that's not what this video is about <laughs> so someone recently asked me about adding fabric to the sides of um, the drawers which I love to do I just love to add, add fabric whenever I can onto my pieces and so I was like well let me just make a quick video about this so let's go ahead and hop into the materials that you're going to need I know you guys are gonna love this it's super easy to just do this and transform your drawers and level up your dresser so let's go so the first thing you're gonna need is a piece of fabric so I got this fabric from Joann's I think this is like the outdoor fabric I'm, I don't re remember but I normally just use like the regular cotton fabric that they have because it's nice and thin and it's just easy to work with um, this one's no different it's just a little bit thicker but I it's still gonna work fine uh, the next thing you're gonna need is Mod Podge so I like to use the matte Mod Podge to do this and then you're gonna need a brush so I just have this round tip brush but any brush will do you can even use like a sponge brush a chip brush whatever you want to use to apply your Mod Podge another thing I like to use is a mist bottle or a spray bottle I always have someone ask me well why are you using a spray bottle honestly I don't know if anyone else just doesn't do this but this really does help to like if you're putting Mod Podge down, um, it helps to like just use number one less of it and then just spread it around um, easily. So that's why I like to use a spray or mist bottle when I am doing this. <laughs> and another thing that you need is of course some scissors. So if you don't want to use scissors, you can definitely use like the rotary cutters and stuff like that um, so that you can make sure that you are cutting in a straight line, but I'm not going to use that today. I'm just using these scissors and that's all you need. And let's go ahead and let me show you how to apply this to your drawer side. Okay, so I have my drawer here and I have my bare sides. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my fabric, I'm just going to open it all the way, all the way darling, all the way. So I'm going to open it all the way and then now I'm going to uh, measure, not really measure but kind of put it on my drawer side so that I can see you know how much I need to cut off from the drawer side. Okay, so I realized that one piece that I just did, I didn't have enough to cover my top, which I like to cover my top. You don't have to do that. Like this part here, the top of the um, drawer side, you could definitely just paint it and be okay. But I don't want to do that. So I'm going to line it up here and make sure that I have enough. But not too much, because like I said, you don't, I mean, you don't have to like waste all this, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna come down some more. Just make sure I have um, a hang, a little bit of hang to come over my drawer. So we can come up just a little bit more. So that's good. So now that you figured out the amount of fabric that you need to cover the area, the next thing you're gonna do is just take your scissors and cut out the fabric. So first thing I'm gonna do is mist this with my spray bottle. And that's why I like to use the mister, uh, but you can use the spray bottles, but the misters are better because they don't actually put large droplets and they really like just mist it a little bit. And then next I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to start to apply that to the drawer sides. So now I'm going to start to apply this 
to my dresser. Make sure you get everywhere. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add my fabric on top of what I've Mod Podged. So if you are doing like me and you are covering the top of your drawer as well, you just wanna make sure that you have enough fabric to cover that area. And then now I'm just going to press my fabric down and then I'm going to take my Mod Podge and water bottle and I'm going to do that same method with adding my Mod Podge on top of the fabric and using my water to smooth everything out. So when you start to get here, you're just gonna start to pull the fabric down so that it pulls taut to your top. And do the same thing with your glue and your water. And press down as hard as you can just to make sure that it's molding into place. Then you're gonna do that same thing with the bottom. Just taking your fingers, gonna spray it first. Take your glue, add it to your bottom edge here, and then kind of just take your fingers and mold it down. The next step for this is to let this dry. So I let this dry for about seven to eight hours. You can definitely let this dry for a full 24 hours before you do this next step, which is just trimming off your excess. So if you don't have a lot of excess fabric, you can definitely just use an 80 to 100 grit sandpaper and just sand those areas away. But I'm just gonna come in with my smaller scissors here and trim everything up. So adding fabric to your drawer sides, as you can see, is a very simple thing to do. There's several different places that you can add fabric to your furniture, not just the drawer sides. You can do the backs of your furniture. You can do shelving. If your furniture has shelving, you can add fabric there. You can also add fabric to the inside of your drawers. There's just so many places that you can add fabric and it is super easy to do. I would highly recommend though using the 100% cotton fabric because they're easier to mold to your pieces. So after you've trimmed and sanded any excess fabric that you might have, now what I like to do is just make sure that I don't have any areas that start to lift up. So I just take my fingers and I kind of flick my fabric up to see if anything pulls up. And if it does, all I do is take a small paintbrush and then my Mod Podge and of course my water bottle and I fix those areas. All right, and that is it. That is all you have to do to add that nice pop of detail to your drawer sides. This is also a very inexpensive way to change your drawer sides as well because most cotton fabric does not cost that much by the yard. So I hope if this is something that you have been wanting to do, that this video helped you out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.